What's up, Libra Squad? I am here to do your general reading for the next two weeks. I'm Phoenix Rising. <clears throat> and if you're watching me for the first time, I thank you for coming to my channel. If you're returning, I thank you as well. Um, I am at 650 views and 31 subscribers, and it hasn't even been a month yet, so... I just thank you guys, um, and if you're tuning in, um, please subscribe if you like me. Click the um, like button, share, comment, do all that great stuff, Libra. How are you guys doing today? I hope all is well. This is a general read. This is for male, female. As long as you're a Libra, this is for you. Um, this is also for like if you have your sun, moon, rising, and Libra. Um, check your birth chart. I suggest you watch that as well. That's what I do. I usually, um, when I watch my readers on, um, YouTube, I watch, like, my moon is Leo. I'm really a Sagittarius, but my moon is Leo. So, I watch Leo and Sag sometimes. So, and they resonate. So, okay. So, I'm going to get started today. Because I don't want to take too much of your time. I already pre-shuffled because I don't want to waste any time. So, I'm going to jump straight into the read. And at the crown of the reed, for you guys, you got the Queen of Cups. And she's in reverse. For some of you, picking up two different things. For some of you, this is you. And this is lack of direction and block um, intuition. It's like um, you're overly sensitive. And maybe even the coronavirus or due to loss of a job or into it with a spouse is making you depressed and insecure. Or being by yourself might even be making you feel this way. Things not going in your way. Um, but avoid the, avoid becoming bitter and vengeful is what this card says. Because you can, with the Queen of Cups, um, pick up that energy, you know, like sadness and stuff and become kind of mean. So, and because it was at the crown of your read, I just felt uh, to start by saying if you are by yourself, this is the energy because, you know, lack of direction, block intuition, it's kind of making you moody with what's going on outside. And even if you're in a relationship, it's something that's not right. It's something causing an imbalance for some of you guys. Um, now, for some of you male um, Libras, or even for you female Libras, friend um, whoever this is, this is someone that is, um, this is for male or female Libra. This is someone that is deceiving you. This is someone that is a weak female. Um, she's directionless. She's shallow. She's spiteful, oversensitive, don't care about others. No, no type of empathy. Um, it's all about her kind of, she's a manipulator. As a mom, she's very disorganized. Smothering as a partner. As a friend, she's disloyal and very shallow is what I'm picking up. Needy and clingy. And that's the something that ain't good. And it's kind of that's what's causing the imbalance as well, whoever this is. Now, this can be a water sign for 50% of you. This is a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But for the other, the other half of you, this is a um, Sagittarius. Leo, Aries. Shoot, I'm picking up all the signs, to be honest. This queen is deceitful, so she can flip mode. And the thing about the, the queen, the cups, is always about emotion. That's why I usually represent the water sign. But at the same time, this is someone playing on your emotion. So it doesn't even matter the sign spirit see it. This is someone that is playing games. So, okay. Or it's you being blocked because of what's going on. It's making you irritated. The fool came with that, and that means new path and new beginning. But it's telling you to look before you jump. Do not just leap. It also represents freedom and youth. Okay? It also, to me, Spirit says, this queen of cups think you are a damn fool. This queen could be a man, too. It could be a man manipulating you by emotion if you're a woman. And you're a Libra watching this. This could be, I don't know, it could be a job. Like I said, it's it's manipulation season. Exposure. <laughs> okay, so that's why the fool is here upright. Because someone thinks you're a damn fool and you're not. And it's saying, to, like I said, for some of you that's with that block intuition, it's saying, just, just jump. Just think before you jump. But don't let your intuition be blocked for someone that don't have, like, nothing as far as drama going on. 
you know, you just a Libra at home by yourself is basically saying your blocked intuition is due to you. You need to just make this leap of faith. Just look before you jump because it's a new path that's about to begin. And with that, you got the Ace of Swords um, in reverse. Block creativity for somebody. Uh, block uh, wisdom, frustration, creative block. This is like, yeah. And with that, that's why I said block intuition, block. This is a block. It's some type of block, which is causing an imbalance. This is for someone with that Queen of Cups making a wrong decision. She something about that woman you that that involved this person, female, male, whoever. You made the wrong decision with this Queen of Cups. You feel like you're gonna end up regret arguments, insults, uh, destruction, misinformation, misinformation. And it's like someone lied in some type of way. It's also meaning you can't concentrate. Was confusion and failure, lack of mental clarity, not being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. That queen could be causing that cup, that queen of cups energy. That queen of cups is just the energy. It, that, it's a person with that energy. It's a person with the energy of being deceitful, upside down, playing emotional damn manipulation, mind damn games, Libra. Here go the chariot, lack of direction for someone that don't have nothing. No drama going on. This is just lack of direction. You're lacking what direction to go in. And that's fine because that's not going to be a hard thing. You will find a balance with the chariot. Um, for some of you with this deceitful stuff going on, it's, uh, take control. Don't let outside things stop you on your path. It's like you in the car and you let somebody else drive it. Hell no. You're supposed to be the driver. Powerless. Nope. Time to, get, time to get back behind the wheel. Regaining that drive. What are you in control of? What can I do is what you ask. Like, and you can. You can gain, set some boundaries for one. Even with self, self set boundaries. Even with self-talk set boundaries. Don't, no negative talk. Because someone's actually being very negative to themselves. Life circumstances um, leading you to anger. This is the person, the Libra that is by themselves that don't have a significant other, this corona has, like, made you upset. Life circumstances lead to anger. You can't control it. Out of your control. I feel the same way. You can't outrun it. It's not like you could go to another state, city, country. It's everywhere. Frustrations, uncontrollable aggression. And that queen cups could also cause that uncontrollable aggression. It's like, be clear of the time and the resources that you provide for somebody. That's setting the boundaries. That means you cannot be like doing everything for everybody. Because this ain't that. Don't be too dedicated. Because somebody will run amok. This manipulating queen energy will. Run amok. No. Stop it. So. That's what I have to say about this. And if it's just you by yourself. Just. The lack of direction, it will come. You have to unblock your intuition to get the guidance you need to go where you need to go. With that came the Nine of Wands in reverse. This is like someone that has like the last man standing attitude with the chip on their shoulder. Arrogancy. Refuse to compromise giving in like you stubborn you won't give in it's somebody that went through something and you got a chip on your shoulder from it flip note this is somebody was stuck and withdrawn retreat chronic fatigue this is weak willed something to do with that queen energy weak willed lack of courage this is also not learning from um, the past and falling at the last hurdle. Which is also based off of what? Making the wrong decision. Falling at the last hurdle, making the bad decision. Falling at the last hurdle. Last. Be careful. That's why the food can't. The food just told me to jump, pick you back up. Look before you jump. Falling at the last hurdle. Okay. This is someone with chronic fatigue as well. Lack of courage. Dropped guard in unexpected trouble. You dropped your guard on something and now it's going to lead to trouble and you might be like, damn. What's going on? And then I know that's right because I'm feeling this right now, Libra. With this death card. 
traumatic change, sudden change, transformation, new lesson, new life lessons learned, basically, like I said. Don't resist. It will only make it harder and more painful. Don't hold on. Embrace the fresh start. Letting go of old issues, beliefs. This card lets me know you're going to be in shock about something with the death card upright. But you're going to bounce back. Now, damn it. You're going to bounce back. Sun. Upright. Now, this means two different things for this single Libra woman or male that don't have nothing going on as far as drama, just living their life. This is um, freedom and success. That's why I said that lack of direction will fade away because you're going to have freedom and success with the sun. It's one of your last cards. You will. Happy vibes, being around happy people, your positive energy, okay, will help others out. Feeling carefree when this card comes up. Good luck. Now, on the flip note, with that, with that Queen's uh, Cups energy in reverse, and for, for, for the person that is not for... Because this when I say that the sun will come out with that, that Queen of Cups in reverse, if you're single and by yourself and nothing's going on, that's the transformation, the sun. Like, you're going to come out of the stuck energy of being upset about what's going on, and you're going to get creative and get out of that block, and you're going to get to moving. Now, for somebody else, shit. <laughs> the truth card. Victim of lies and deception. Somebody been lying. The truth finna come out. The sun finna come out. Somebody been lying. I think it's this queen. I'm gonna tell you who I think it is. I think it's her. However she might be in your life. She been lying. And I'm also picking up um, you gonna shine a light on the deceit with the folks involved. There's more than one person that been orchestrating this shit with this person. Problems meltdown with the sun. This also means um, pregnancy, but I feel like some some of you will get pregnant during this corona, and there is a lot of women that have lied to Libra men about being pregnant. That's why the sun came like this. The sun came upright, but it's also because the, the light finna be shining on the pregnancy. Look at the baby on the you know what? I just noticed that spirit. Did something look at the card? Did somebody lying about a baby? You got the six of swords. I mean, I'm sorry. Six of six of wands. My bad. My bad. Having the advantage. Winning the battle. Over yourself or your mind. Or over this situation with this queen of damn cups in reverse. Success. In the spotlight, proud, stable, achievement, high self-esteem. The hell they thought, Libra? What they thought? What they thought? What's going on? Boom! Here come the King of Cups for this for this man that's watching this. Um, well, no, let me go this way first. For a woman that, like I said, or a man that don't have nothing. No drama going on. This is just mean you're gonna meet someone that's a good listener, and it's also meaning wisdom and compassion. Maybe from um, a king, you'll you'll meet a, a king of cups that, um, and that doesn't mean an older guy. A king of cups is basically just, you know, it could be someone in their 30s or something. So, or it could be someone younger, but they'll be able to um, give you like wisdom and compassion and you'll find, find balance. This is mind over heart as well for someone. Like you'll have your mind over your heart. You'll get it. Control of emotions. For the Libra man that's being deceived, this is like control of emotions. Accept what you can't change and move forward. Good advice, family oriented. Like you're 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 gonna be you're very uh whoever this is took advantage of you because you're really caring about your family. They know that. Like that you're all about uh family ties and traditions and stuff like that, as far as like you so and they took advantage of that. Calm and caring with this card as well. What that means, okay? And so, with this last suit, you're gonna have success and triumph. Like you're gonna, you're gonna over this line pregnancy situation, you're gonna have success and triumph. And you, you're gonna come out the king of cups. And if you're a woman watching this, and, and you're just gonna have freedom and success with this sun, you're gonna shine bright. Like, it really kind of could mean, like, fame and fortune, too, being seen for what you're worth. And this man could be coming. This King of Cups energy could be coming with that. 
Like, okay, you know, I see you. I see you, Libra. I see you. I see you. Never mind my music. It's your meditation music. The, the Wi-Fi acting crazy. Because everybody at home because of the damn corona. <laughs> Stupid thing. Okay, so I'm going to do your meditation card, too. Aurora of Dama. Let's sit it right here so you can see it. It's time to let go of what has been. Let go of what has been, whether it's a mindset, this is me talking to, or it's a person. You are swiftly outgrowing your past. Explore and commit to a spiritual practice that supports your personal transformation. Then you get the transformation card. Yes. Transformation is the death card with that. I'm going to sit that right. No, I'm not. Death is transformation. Okay, let me finish. With your personal transformation so that you can cross the, the um, you can cross, therefore, be, before you know now. Let me read that again because I'm moving too fast. Explore and commit to a spiritual practice that supports your personal transformation so that you can cross the hole before you now. Before you now. Okay, I guess that's, I, that's how I was in here. Embrace your freedom to be creative in your approach. So you got to embrace being free with the sun in your approach with the fool card. That's upright. That's telling you to just do it. To just It's okay to jump, but just do it. Rather than dog being doggly committed yourself to a previous idea or plan. And when that, that basically means like you are tired, like dog down, like you're tired. Like, where is that? Where is that? One of your cards meant that. Oh, tired. Shit, you worn down. You have the spiritual in intelligence necessary to evolve. So it's like you know better. And when you know better, you do better. Continue your healing journey with trust that a positive outcome is coming. It's on its way. Okay, Libra. So, um, what I say I was naming this video? Um, lies and deceit will cause this imbalance. And why I say that is because even if it's you lying to yourself, you cause the imbalance and you thought that you weren't going to get this in the end. Even being in a house by yourself or being single, you thinking it's not going to come, but you're all the way wrong. You're showing up at riding high. That means go back in your cave, retreat, rethink, meditate, come back, pray, and try it again. And this is the transformation for some of you of the thought process of how you're thinking about things. The that this is transformation. And then for some of you, you finna it's a transformation because some about to come to an end with this whole little queen of cups thinking you a damn fool trying to play these damn mind games now. This ain't that, baby. This queen finna be exposed because Phoenix finna help you expose the queen. Even in you. No more bad talk. No more bad talk, Libra. Okay? So this has been your read, your general read. And I will be back to do your um, relationships for couples and singles. I do them every two weeks. So um, I'm up. I think I'm. I think yours is not due for like 10 days because I just did it. So, I'll be back. But if if this helps any, I tell everyone to go back and look at the... If you're single, watch the single and then watch this one. And if you're in a relationship, watch that one and then watch this one. Sometimes you get the same cards. Sometimes you get the same card. It just depends. And then you can kind of put two and two together. Because that's what I did. So, you know. So, I just want to tell you that. So, have a beautiful day. Click like, subscribe. I thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you can share it. Come back. And if you know someone else that needs a reading, just tell them to click on the channel. I'll be here. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.